this is the most remarkable region in Australia by miles, but it's so youthful, it's so inclusive, it's so rich in diversity, it's so ambitious, it's got a future of endless possibilities, it's very proud, and it stands up for itself. So it's been wonderful for the A-League. Crowds are up, colours up, noises up. We play a great brand of football, and I think we've been an inspiration for others. In April 2012, the Football Federation of Australia announced the birth of a new club. Gold Coast United had had their A-League licence revoked, and so a replacement team was needed. Twelve months later, the Western Sydney Wanderers finished top of the league in their debut season. Breaking attendance and league records, the Wanderers helped propel Australian soccer into a new era of popularity. Now ready to enter the Asian Champions League, Wanderers manager Tony Popovich reflects on how the FFA made the voice of a community heard. They got together with the people of the West and together they came up with the colours, the name, and it made everyone feel a real part of the club. And I think that was the, the first most important thing that uh, the club could have done. And, and from there it's just grown. You know, we now have an opportunity to take our club into Asia, which will be a fantastic experience, uh, bringing, going to Asia, but also bringing an Asian opponent to Parramatta Stadium. This season, the Western Sydney Wanderers beat Sydney FC in their own backyard in front of a crowd of 40,000. For former Australia international Popovich, it's been a moving experience. I never thought it, it, would, it would happen uh, so quickly. Um, very early in my coaching career that I'd, I'd come back and it'd be a club from Western Sydney where I grew up. Uh, my family still lives out in the West, uh, you know, a lot of family and friends out there and you know, they've all got right behind the club, um, like everyone else has out, out West and it's special. Winning a record 10 games in a row, the Wanderers secured the championship at the first attempt. For Chairman Lyle Gorman, it was the culmination of 12 months hard work. We had a lot of self-belief. Uh, our coach is a winner, as you know, and he, he's a remarkably well-prepared man. We'd put together a squad that many underrated and many felt were, were, were second-hand players, for want of a better word, rejects from other clubs, for want of a better word, and so on. But we didn't believe that. In fact, we had tremendous self-belief in the playing group, and more importantly, the playing group had tremendous self-belief in, in themselves. The debut season achievements of the Wanderers have led to Popovich's name being linked with the move to the English Premier League and to the Australian national team. Club captain and fellow Western Sydney native Michael Beauchamp believes that Popovich's approach to management is in keeping with the team's style of play. Strong, direct, he manages the players very well. You know, I knew him as a, as a player and um, he was very professional then and now he's even stepped it up more as a manager and as a boss. He, um, he definitely knows what he wants out of the players and out of the, his personnel around him and you know, that shows on the park and um, I think that's why we were so successful last year is because we had him steering the ship and um, we work very hard on the training pitch and you know, it comes out into the games.